Man rescues weird creature from the streets but regrets it after seeing what it grows into. Rescuing helpless little animals that are lost or hurt in the streets is a truly amazing act of kindness. And most times you will find cute little kittens or puppies that you can't just leave after finding them. But what happens when you find a bizarre creature that you have no idea what it is? This man found a fluffy tiny animal that looked like nothing he had ever seen before. He decided to take it home to nurse it and look after it for a few days. Little did he know what this weird animal would grow into. Jeff Longo is a true animal lover living in Florida. He used to have a huge house with a nice backyard when he was a little and he even owned five dogs. Now, as an adult, he lives with his lovely wife and his three dogs which he absolutely adores. Jeff could never imagine what fourth animal was about to join his family. Jeff is a 34-year-old guy that had always loved animals. He would often visit shelters to play with little animals or feed the stray dogs and cats in his neighborhood. He had even saved some wandering animals by taking them to the vet or to a shelter. But one day, he got himself into a true adventure. It was a sunny morning when Jeff decided to go out for a quick run. He wore his new running shoes, put on his favorite workout outfit, and got out of his house. He would always walk for a few minutes before starting his run and so he did that time. But right after walking out of his neighborhood, something strange caught Jeff's eye. Jeff noticed something on the side of the pavement. At that point he could not recognize what that weird thing was so he got closer. To his big surprise, he still couldn't recognize what that creature was. He then grabbed it and got it into his hands. And that's when Jeff got even more confused. It was a little helpless animal but it was neither a kitten nor a puppy. That bizarre creature looked like a newborn and Jeff knew that the poor animal was lost and left alone. After spending a few minutes with the little animal, Jeff was already getting attached to the little creature. At that moment, he knew exactly what to do. Although Jeff had no clue about that animal, he fell in love instantly and really wanted to help it regain its strengths. He named his new friend Biscuits and took really good care of it. He knew he had to take Biscuits to the vet someday but he had to make sure that he would survive first. But he was still curious about what Biscuits was and he decided to find out. At first, Jeff asked his wife if she knew what Biscuits was. She was also an animal lover so he thought she would know. It turned out she didn't and that's when he asked his friends and family who also didn't recognize Biscuit's species. Then, a great idea came into Jeff's mind. Jeff then did what he should have done from the beginning. He posted about Biscuit's on Reddit asking if anyone knew what animal Biscuit's was. After waiting for a few hours, he got back to his post to check if anyone replied. And that's when Jeff completely lost it. Just an hour after posting his query, Jeff had already got a lot of comments. He was really surprised to see his post getting so many replies and felt relieved that he was finally going to know what Biscuits was. But those comments were not what Jeff was expecting. Jeff could not believe it. Not even one person knew what Biscuits was and that made him have more questions. After the shock, Jeff decided to ignore what happened and just help the poor animal until he could get it to the vet. Day after day, Jeff's feelings about Biscuits started to change. Although Jeff's and Biscuit's friendship was only a few days long, Jeff got very attached to Biscuit's and decided to keep him as a fourth animal in the house. He even bought him special food and toys to play with. One day, Jeff got really emotional. Seeing Biscuit's growing and getting naughtier and naughtier he felt like he achieved something, and it was true, he saved Biscuit's life. Biscuit's would now run all over the house and be much more active. But there was that one thing that would always make Jeff's heart melt. Biscuit's favorite activity was to climb over Jeff and just chill on his shoulder. But his most liked spot was Jeff's top pocket. Biscuit's would just get into the pocket and have his little head out to watch around. Jeff had one thing left to do. After making sure that Biscuit's was healthy and happy, he even got to teach him some tricks. Jeff was so happy to have Biscuit's at home but he was not sure if his dogs liked Biscuit's until the day that made it clear. Jeff's dogs did not like Biscuits at first and that was something Jeff was very worried about. All three dogs seemed to be jealous of Biscuits and barked at him sometimes, especially when Jeff was spending much time with Biscuits. But after the dogs got used to Biscuits, not only did they liked him but they also got very good friends with him. Now, there was only one thing left. Jeff had to know what animal Biscuits was. Jeff was planning to take Biscuits to the vet he takes his dogs at. But the vet, Miss Christina, was out of town those days so Jeff had to wait for a few days. 
he called Christina and made an appointment. In five days, Jeff was about to know what Animal Biscuits actually was. Biscuits was loved by everyone in the family and he was even being called their mascot. Jeff's nieces and nephews would even make him little hats out of paper or draw paintings with Biscuits and Jeff. His parenting skills were on point and he was actually enjoying taking care of Biscuits. But then something that no one expected happened. One day, Biscuits did not get out of his cage, did not want to eat, and, most importantly, he did not climb all day on Jeff. That made Jeff a bit worried and that's when he realized, Biscuits was sick. Jeff had no idea what Biscuits needed and he was totally freaking out. But then, a miracle happened. It should be Jeff's lucky day because right at the moment that Jeff was freaking out, Christina called him and informed him that she was back in town and available to finally see Biscuits for the first time. Jeff did not lose a second and immediately got Biscuits to the vet. But he was not ready to hear that. It was the first time that Christina was seeing Biscuit. Thankfully, he wasn't actually sick, he just ate too much the day before day and that made him feel heavy and inactive. But then, Christina revealed what animal Biscuit was. Biscuits was just a little flying squirrel. It all now made sense, how Biscuits would always want to climb around and jump from furniture to furniture. What's funny is that Jeff always loved squirrels and thought they were cute. Now he had one in his house. Christina actually had a very similar experience to Jeff's. She had also found a small little squirrel outside of the gym she used to visit. The one she found was probably a few days old and was incredibly tiny. It was literally the size of a coin. Christina did rescue it but then released it to the closest forest. She did not have the time to take proper care of it because of her job liabilities. Although Christina did the right thing, Jeff could not do the same. He did have the time and courage to take care of Biscuits and was not going to leave him. Jeff wanted the best for Biscuits and even took him to a wild animal specialist to learn how he would take the best possible care of Biscuits. The wild animal specialist claimed that baby squirrels can hardly survive without their mothers. As a result, when they are found on the streets, they are either getting euthanized or kept by the person that found it. That's why the vet advised Jeff to keep Biscuits. He could really see and feel their connection. Jeff did everything he could. He saved Biscuits, took him to two different vets and studied how he could be the best possible dad for him. You could really tell that his affection was big. Even on walks, travels, or job trips, Jeff would always carry Biscuits with him. They were literally inseparable. Biscuits was a good boy, never been a problem to Jeff. He would always enjoy being around Jeff no matter how busy he would be. He could never have imagined that he would find a new best friend on a casual day on his routine morning run. Unexpected friendships are the best friendships and that is totally true for Biscuits and Jeff. If Jeff didn't find Biscuits on the ground that random day he would have died. Biscuits understood that Jeff saved his life and was not relying on Jeff. Biscuits was in good hands now. Not only was he safe, but he gained a big new family of two people and three dogs. The family was now living their best life, 